hey, I wanted to record another update video. It's a little late, but uh, on Sunday, uh, me and my siblings were leaving for uh, Cook's Forest in Pennsylvania, and I thought, why don't I hold off on this update video and record it out in the cabin, because that'd be cool, a neat change of scenery. Uh, right now, they're out on a trail, and I've just been working most of the time. I haven't been hiking and doing all the other things around the park. Um, so it's, it's still cool to come out here, uh, work in a different setting always helps with productivity. And, uh, I don't know, it's just, it's cool out here, but really I've been working most of the time. Uh, for this video, um, as far as what's going on with the channel, views have been in a bit of a slump lately. Uh, we still get regular views, uh, you know, a lot of, like, the regulars really like what we're doing right now, and what we're doing is a, a series of videos. So, basically, we're three episodes into that series, and it's something that I could tell from the first episode. I was like, okay, this, I don't know if this is going to attract a lot of attention, and three episodes in, and we're really getting that feel but either way, the, the whole thing is uh, seven episodes, and we're doing one a week right now. And we're, we're going to play it out and see how it goes. The last one we published did do a little bit better than the first two, but based on the topic, we were expecting it would do better than it did. There is a later episode in the series that I think is going to bring in a lot of attention and hopefully some others to some other views to the other episodes. But... We'll see. Uh, we're just not there yet. And uh, right now I'm not... Like, there are probably topics... There are certain topics I know could be getting more views, and then if I dived into them, we could have some other uh, home runs. But really, more of my attention's been focused on programming right now, and just dividing my time between those two things is like... Programming's got to get the majority of my attention... And if the channel isn't doing as well, I mean, if, I, if I'm able to get a job in programming, I mean, I don't have to be as frantic about trying to make sure every video is a hit. I can uh, take my time and sort of uh, strategize a little bit more or just do topics I want to talk about because it wouldn't be, like, eventually I would like that to be my primary income, but there, there wouldn't be as much of a race to get to that point. So... That's what's going on with the channel. I've still been working on it out here. Uh, some of the scripts I'm writing are not part of that series. They're uh, some more general ones that I think will bring views up just based on the topics. They're sort of related to some other ones. Uh, how we're going to present them with the thumbnails, it's like I know these videos tend to do better. So I guess I'll update on that in my next update video. Uh, one topic I wanted to get on before I... Uh, end this video, or, or get too carried away on something else, is, so in a previous video I talked about this idea that if you're a creator and you're, um, see, I, I just get, I'll just like stop and start thinking about things like, hmm, should I just restart this video and get to the topic sooner? And that's why I'll just have these odd pauses at points, but um, I'm just going to roll with it because... Oh, screw it. Um, there was a uh, older video I did, uh, one of the updates a few weeks back, where I talked about if you're a creator, you can sort of just talk about anything and people will be interested. And how I think too many creators get fixated on this idea of having to, like they think they need to pick out a really interesting topic, otherwise people aren't going to watch them. When what they want to know could probably, they could probably at least get 50 videos out of that or so, and frankly, their audience will probably be a lot more entertained with those videos than a, bu a bunch of videos that they spend a ton of time researching, and uh, just that ton time, money, value uh, is probably going to pay off to talk about those things that, to the creator, are boring and mundane. But I think there's a little bit of a flip side of that. When you, especially when you're like me and you start researching, and that is that what is interesting to you is not always interesting to your audience. Now, 
I'm sure this can be discussed in a lot of different contexts, but what I want to talk about is as someone who's doing a lot of research and basically I have this topic where it's like, okay, right on the surface level, I can start a YouTube channel on this because I know more about it than most people do. And most people who are just going to be curious about general information about the topic. But then I start researching more. And I've gotten to a point where things that are really interesting to me, things that are really in-depth, and all these nitty-gritty details and all these different people and places and events, they've become interesting to me because... I know the context. I've started at the point of the more mainstream information and then uh, sort of ran with it and uh, went on these more niche topics. And I, I understand how it's all connected in my mind. But then I just start doing little videos on these more obscure topics. And you're speaking to an audience who doesn't have that context. They are, you know, if they've been watching your videos, they've probably learned, uh, they've probably learned a little bit more than the average person, but they're still nowhere near the level that you are as a researcher or a nerd of your particular topic. And it's, it's something that's really hard to be aware of. Well, even once you're aware of it, it, it it's hard. It's, it's sort of like, uh, uh, what's that like? Like there's the, the one phrase where it's like once you see something, you can never unsee it. It's sort of like once you learn this information, it's hard to then like go back and sort of be at that level of the layperson. Uh, I was reading that book uh, that I talked about last time, uh, the Frank Luntz book, and uh, he's talking about politicians and how so many of them have a problem with like what's really interesting to them is all the nitty gritties of the deals and the bills they're trying to pass it's like, yeah, you can, that information's good, but if you're going to talk to the public, you have to talk about the dumbed down topics, or at very least, translate what you're saying into something that is, uh, that's, that, that they can understand, because simply put, they don't have your same life experiences, and as you get deeper and deeper into certain niche topics, the, the pool of people who know what you know just becomes way, way smaller. And the, I, I do think there are different avenues to get people interested in these topics, even if you want to go more in-depth. But you sort of got to be more, the more, more and more careful and more strategic the more in-depth you get. For example, uh, M. Plemon is, I think, the best storyteller on YouTube. He, he's, I'm never going to be at that guy's level. He is, his videos are just great. Um, he, he can take any topic, and like his uh, one video was on Spongebob and why it appealed to kids of a certain generation. His next video was on Dale Earnhardt, uh, the NASCAR driver. And then um, he did a video on this big uh, smash player like tournament player. Uh, then he did one on the nuclear uh, conflict between the United States and the Soviet Union. And the thing is, there's one, he's just a really good storyteller and he's a really good video creator, but I think he's also, there's enough consistent elements from video to video that you know you're going to get even though the topic's totally different. So there's almost like a certain amount of trust there too, I guess, where it's like, even though this is a topic I have no interest in, I know by the end of the video, the guy's going to make me interested in, in it. And even if I haven't thought that far ahead, I know at very least, like, it's going to be a good video. And I, I like listening to him. I like his style. So I think... Like, style, style and consistency are things that I think are really important. And that's one of those things that once I hopefully get a programming job and I can settle down a bit and not be so neurotic and so worried, I really want to sit back and focus on that with the YouTube channel. Like, focus on developing a style 
and developing consistency and really think about not what I want to do with the channel, not that that's no part of it, but more what do uh, what would a member of the audience want to see? Uh, if I was a viewer of this channel, what would I want to see? I know, for example, there's some things I do when I'm writing the script and I'll feel like, oh, I can't intro a video the same way as I did the previous one, like with the same sentence or the same phrase or the same structure because uh, I've already done that before. And that's an example of one of those things that I think bothers you as a creator, like the creator part of your brain doesn't want to do that. Viewers don't care, and in fact, they probably like your consistency. Um, like, obviously, there's a balance between consistency and repetitiveness, but think of a show like Forensic Files and all the people who are addicted to that and how those episodes follow the same exact beats. Uh, I was actually... I, this is something I wanted to do more of, but I took two episodes from totally different seasons and I just compared them. And I think I even started comparing a third one. And I was like, they're sort of all doing the same thing. You know, the structure, the structure and the storyboard is the same. And the creative part of your brain doesn't want to do that, but it's I think the business part's gotta keep gotta keep you in check. And uh I mean that kind of gets into another topic where uh I I um there was a show called Hill Street Blues. I never watched it, but I was researching it for a video. And uh, I remember the creator talking about how he never watches his own episodes. And he's basically like, there's no point to it because he can never see them the way, his, the, the, way, the, way the viewer does. Um, so, yeah, it's, um, I mean, altogether, these update topics are probably things that... Uh, <laughs> You know, if you had no interest in content creation, they're not going to be that that interesting. Um, but I, I guess one more example I thought of is, uh, you'll hear this with a lot of bands. They want to go experimental and do all sorts of different things and change their genres. And those outside forces, kind of like uh, their record label and their producer, got to keep them in check and basically remind them of what the audience audience actually wants. And, uh, like, even if you think of something like the production of a song, if you're working on that song for so long, your view of that song has totally changed beyond what a listener who clicks on it for the first time is going to hear. Like, you're, you're never actually hearing that. You're, like... It's just this bizarre amalgamation in your mind, and it's just not that. Uh, it's just not that way for people in your audience. I mean, I think that's why outside uh, influence and another set of ears, another pair of eyes are so important on these things. Uh, but this is already over 13 minutes, and I think I covered a lot of topics. I think I gave a satisfactory update. So I'll end this here, and uh, yeah, basically looking at doing programming and doing this YouTube channel more. I do want to do some more music. Uh, there's a lot of ideas have, but that's that's a to totally a uh, hobby thing for me right now. If, at the end of the day, I don't feel like working on music. I don't push myself to do it. I'll go play video games or play with the dog. And I, I'm just like... Just trying to get things squared away right now. I don't know if I'm going to have too much different to report on the next update video because it's going to kind of just be this balance of programming and working on the YouTube channel for a little bit. And I think that's all I'm going to say for this one.